Tourists visiting Paris often head to the city's museums to gaze at paintings and sculptures. But more and more, they're looking at art on the street. And they're seeing impressive works that are helping to revitalize neighborhoods. NHK World's Jean-Baptiste Niard shows us. In some residential areas of Paris, street artists have been busy. This painting gives viewers the impression of a boy actually seated on the pavement. Here, a man's face emerges from the wall. A company has started offering tours of Paris street art, and they're catching on. The quality is yeah, it's just amazing. I mean, there's, when you compare that to sort of basic tagging, you know, it's just not really a comp I mean, they're two different things, but it's, um, yeah, it is really incredible. Street artist Christian Gemi is based in the Paris area. He has created about 3,000 works in more than 20 countries. On this day, Gemi is about to adorn a switchboard box. As a rule, a street artist needs a permit from the local government or the owner of the space. He gets some unexpected help. In about 20 minutes, a plain switchboard box has been transformed into a work of art. I wanted to make these dirty streets beautiful by drawing murals. Gemi's street art has become well-known in the Paris art world and has fetched high prices at auctions. On this day, Gemi's work is being auctioned. Any more bids? And sold at $16,000. In this town, local people allow us to paint freely on the walls. Many artists from around the world have been gathering here. Street art evolved from graffiti sprayed from a can or painted on walls. The graffiti kept the wall cleaners busy. But Parisians are beginning to see the value of these more artistic works. I heard that a colleague cleaned off one painting, thinking it was vandalism, but the ward mayor complained and asked for it to be restored. Nowadays, a city ward encourages street art. That's because it attracts tourists and that helps revitalize the local economy. Local officials commissioned an American artist to make this work 40 meters high. They even provided a crane for the artist. This autumn, the ward also organized a street art exhibition. For canvases, it used the walls of public housing buildings scheduled for demolition. A hundred artists were invited from all over the world. They were allowed to paint whatever they wanted outside and inside the 10-story building. Paris should be the world capital of art and creativity. That's why we're continuing to provide spaces where artists can freely express themselves through their works. Paris once attracted artists and was the art capital of the world. Now it's becoming the world center of street art and attracting a new generation of artists. Jean-Baptiste Agnard, NHK World, Paris.